Hello, Andrew here and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my Premier League predictions for week 17 in the Premier League. So, on to the first game. Liverpool versus Watford. Top versus bottom. Um, really, there should be only one result here. Um, at Anfield and, you know, if we want to win the title, it's a game we should be winning and we should be winning it comfortably. But also, some very good news for Liverpool fans. Klopp just done something completely out of routine and assigned a new contract till 2024 he was going you know he was going to take a year out and take a break and all that lot and just completely out of the blue he's just signed a new contract it's absolutely phenomenal merry christmas liverpool fans um so yeah um as i say we should beat watford comfortably and i'm going to say uh three nil to liverpool i'm going to say another clean sheet um Burnley versus Newcastle. Um, Burnley got absolutely smashed by Spurs. I mean, they are absolutely awful. And Newcastle have been playing very, very well recently. Um, yeah, they went 1-0 down to Southampton, but they came back on 1-2-1. Um, Newcastle have definitely picked up recently. Uh, and I can see another win here, especially the way Burnley's playing. I'm going to say... Uh, Newcastle, and I'm going to say 2 0 to Newcastle. Um, Chelsea versus Bournemouth. Um, Bournemouth got, I mean, once they were, they were in it until Ake got injured. Once Ake got injured, within 30 seconds, Liverpool put the ball in the back of the net. Once that ball went in the back of the net, there was only one winner. Um, and it was like it was a training game for Liverpool for the rest of the game. You know, they got two, they got three, and then literally, we, we literally could just have the ball without no Bournemouth pressing or anything. Um, with Bournemouth injury problems at the moment as well, I can, you know, there's only one winner here. Chelsea, even though Chelsea have been vulnerable at the back, Chelsea should win this one, and I'm going to say 3-0 to Chelsea. Um, Leicester City, Norwich. Leicester are, are flying. They are flying as high as Liverpool right now. But... After this game, um, they've got Manchester City and then they've got Liverpool. So, um, but Norwich City, they should be, they'll be winning this one, um, and they'll be winning it quite comfortably. I mean, Norwich went down two one to Sheffield United at home. Norwich are struggling at the minute. I know they've got a lot of injuries themselves, and high flying Leicester should win this one comfortably. And I'm going to say three one to Leicester. Uh, Sheffield United versus Aston Villa. Aston Villa got destroyed by Leicester City. Um, and Sh Sheffield United are normally pretty good at Bramall Lane. I mean, they did lose the other week at Bramall Lane. This could be a close one. You know, both two, both teams that were in the Championship and both came up to the Premier League. Um, I'm going to say a 1-1 one -one draw. Uh, Southampton, versus, Southampton versus West Ham. Well, this is a... This is a three point of three on both teams, to be honest. I mean, they're both just above the relegation zone, both needing the points, and both managers are under pressure. Um, I'm going to say Southampton just nicks it, and I'm going to say 2 1 to Southampton. Uh, Manchester United versus Everton. Well, Man United, you know, Man City underestimated Man United, and they come unstuck. Again, if you underestimate Man United, you come unstuck. Manchester derby and Man United wins it. Um, they beat them 2-1. Everton had a phenomenal game against Chelsea. Um, under Duncan Ferguson, it was like they had, were, they had new belief. They were valid. Uh, will, he's in, he's going to be in charge for this game, but will he be given the permanent job? If he gets the result against Man United, you never know. Um, but... Two teams that, as a Liverpool fan, you don't care who wins. You don't really like either of them. Um, and I think this one would be quite a close game, to be fair. And I'm going to say a 2-2 draw. Um, Wolves versus Tottenham. As I say, Tottenham smashed Burnley 5-0. Wolves drew 2-2 with Brighton. This could be a very, very good game. And, uh, do you know, I can see another, maybe Tottenham just nicking it. Um, yeah, I'm going to say 2-1 to Spurs. Um, 
Arsenal, Manchester City. Well, Arsenal finally got a win against West Ham. You know, 60 minutes, West Ham were brilliant. And then Arsenal score three quick fire goals. And then West Ham have no answer. Um, Manchester City well, can always score goals. Yes, they lost to Manchester United, but they cannot afford to drop any more points. And they know that Man City will win this one. Um, and I'm going to say 3-1 to Manchester City. Uh, and the final game is Crystal Palace versus Brighton. Crystal Palace drew 0-0 with Watford. I said that last week, though. I said it had 0-0 written all over it. And um, I was right. Um, I don't know how many of the others I got right, to be honest. I, I, I never really check, but I just do these predictions just for fun. Just, you know, if anyone wants to follow my predictions, you know, just... Yeah, just a bit of fun, really. Anyways, back to um, and as I say, Brighton drew with Wolves. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this one's gonna be quite a close one as well. But I think Brighton's just gonna nick this one, and I'm gonna say two one to Brighton. Anyway, that's my predictions for this weekend. Please like, subscribe to my channel. Please share with others, and yeah, I'll speak to you all soon. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.